guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, I'm doing a quick product review. <sighs> I'm doing a skincare product review, so I have no makeup on today. Uh, just want you to see just the stage of my skin, where it's at, how it's going. Um, I do have a couple of skincare um, videos in my description box if you want to see. I've suffered from uh, deep cystic acne over the years. I've, you know, I continue to see dermatologists, so on and so forth. So, um, today's product review is going to be on a face mask, and like I said, it's skincare. Usually when I do skincare videos, I tend to be bare face so that you guys can see my, you know, the health of my skin, but bear with me. I have a cold. I'm a little congested in the nasal area. I have my hair up. It's a simple day. I have no long nails on because I took them all off. I'm going to get them done, um, on Monday because I just I had to they were falling off and I just I need a fresh set so my long nails will be back up next video but for now we are au natural in this one so just letting you know as a disclaimer um, so the mask I'm going to show you guys is the uh, Sephora bubble detoxifying and oxygen oxygenating mask so it comes in a box like this it's from Sephora this is what it looks like out of the box it's just a little um, pump comes with a pump. There's a stopper on it as well so that, um, you can, uh, stop it from getting dry. Whatever product is in, in the pump area doesn't dry out. Um, so this is what, this is what intrigued me. I have been seeing all over media about the e.l.f. bubbling mask and I haven't been able to find the e.l.f. one in my area at all. I was going to post, I was going to uh, purchase the e.l.f. bubbling mask on the e.l.f. website, but their shipping charges are unreal. I think they're like over $10 in shipping. Like we're talking 15 to 20. So, I mean, for e.l.f. to charge that much in shipping, I just couldn't, I couldn't bear to spend that amount uh, to ship to Canada for e.l.f. products. Um, just because they're so inexpensive. And I can find e.l.f. stuff here in Canada at Walmart. Um, I can find e.l.f. at um, Old Navy as well. It's just that they don't carry this particular, the bubble mask. So um, I've been wanting to try out the bubble mask for a long time. Different companies have them. You can find them on Amazon. I just didn't really have the want to pick it up on Amazon. But then I was in Sephora one day and I actually came across the Sephora brand. So this is the Sephora's version of the bubble mask. Now, um, I have to say that the whole concept of this intrigued me from the get-go, no matter what company it, it was promoted from. I, I just wanted to tr try it. Excuse me, I have the hiccups. Um, I'm, I'm a mask junkie. I love skincare. If you guys have been with me for a while, you know my skincare is everything. I can come home at 2 o'clock in the morning and I will go through my skincare routine before I go to bed because my skin is very important to me. It's part of my confidence and what keeps my confidence up. Um, so I just will never leave my makeup on overnight. It's just a big no-no. And part of, of my skincare is masking. I mask almost every day. If not every day, I try to do it every other day. But, you know, if I'm really diligent, I will mask every day. Whether it's a detoxifying mask, a hydrating mask. And, you know, one of those type of masks, I'm doing one or the other. It, it kind of depends on my mood, my skin, how it feels, all that jazz. So um, when I saw this, I said, oh, for sure, I have to pick it up. Now, um, in Canada, I believe this mask runs for about $25, um, but I'm going to double check because I could be wrong. I purchased it a while ago. Um, okay, so it's $24 Canadian, It's um, and it's exclusive. So I'm thinking the exclusivity is because it's Sephora brand and no other place carries Sephora but Sephora. So here's what the box claims. It's called White Tea Bubble Mask. It's a detoxifying and oxygenating mask. Dermatology tested. Uh, you get 1.35 fluid ounces for $24 Canadian. So obviously, United States, you guys living in the States, it'll be cheaper for you there. So on the box, this is what it claims. The detoxifying bubble mask acts like a br breath of oxygen-rich air for dull, tired skin. Why we love it. It's gel texture transforms into detoxifying micro bubbles upon contact with the skin, removing surface impurities and pollution that make it dull. Day after day, the skin loses the blahs and appears more vivacious. It contains white tea extract and a der derivative of vitamin E whose antioxidant 
properties protect the skin from exterior aggressions. The complexion is fresher, purer, it is dermatolog dermatologically tested, and suits all skin types. So once a week, apply fine layer over slightly humid skin. Let it sit for two to three minutes until the texture becomes frothy. Um, massage with fingertips and rinse with water. Be sure to close be sure to close well after each use. So be sure to close the bottle well. So I've tried this a few times and it, it only recommends you to do this once a week. So I only do this particular one once a week and I've done it a few times now, you know, as they directed it, as they directed us to. Um, so they claim to let it, to say to let it sit for two to three minutes. I left mine on a little bit longer just because, I don't know, I felt like the tingle, it wasn't even a tingling sensation. It comes out in a gel form. You apply it either with a brush or your fingertips. I use my fingertips, you know, I don't think you need to use a brush for this. And um, right away, you start to feel it oxidize on you and the bubbles start to, you know, react with the air. Or I should say the gel formula starts to react with the air, causing the bubbles to start. Um, and you can hear the bubbles actually pop. It's kind of cool. Um, it doesn't tingle, but it tickles. That is a strange description of what this does, you guys, but... I wouldn't say it tingles because a tingle to me um, kind of feels like your face is falling asleep. Kind of like when you're, you know, when you're cross-legged and you sit on your legs for too long and then your leg falls asleep and then you try to let the blood flow back and you get that tingle. That's not what this feels like. This feels like more of a tickle. Like somebody is like tickling your face gently. It is so, so crazy. Um, and funny enough is that when I first used it, I felt like I had to laugh because it tickled and it was like ticklish. I don't know. It was just, it, that's just me. So I left it on, I washed it off, my skin just felt a little bit more softer, it felt a little, it looked a little bit more um, like life was brought to it. So before I even used it, I, I just, I could tell when my skin is looking like it needs something, whether it's too dull, it needs moisture, it needs to be detoxified, whatever the case is. So um, I just felt like it, you know, it just looked a little more awake, is what I'd like to say. So on the box here, it says, the here is the proof, skin... So I guess they, you know, they, they tested this on women and 86% of them says skin was detoxified. 92% says skin seemed reoxygenated. And I agree with that. My skin feels like it's been reoxygenated, like oxygen was put back into my skin. 90% uh, claim complexion is more pure. Um, I don't know, like my complexion seems pretty good. Um, and 90% claim the skin is more luminous. Yes. I feel like I have a bit of a glow back into my skin, uh, after I've used this. Uh, but I don't see any parabens, which is amazing. Um, I, you know, a lot of people like to oversee or kind of bypass the Sephora brand, whether it's in makeup, whether it's in, uh, skincare. And I really think that a lot of people are missing out. Now there's a, you know, Sephora brand can be hit and miss for different things. I love their lip cream stains. Um, skincare, I started trying out their skincare slowly because it's a more affordable option than if you were to go and spend $40 on a mask, you know, you can spend half that kind of thing. Um, so this is one of the first uh, Sephora masks I've tried. And to be totally honest, for $24, you get 1.35 fluid ounces. I think it's pretty decent. I really think it's fun. Um, if you don't like a tingle, not even a tingle, if you don't like a tickling sensation on your face, you're not going to like this. This is something that, um you know, you're, you're, you have to be kind of, I want to say immune to it so that <clears throat> you don't kind of freak out. Um, I have semi-sensitive skin. I can be oily, uh, combination. So I can be oily. I can be dry. I can be a combo of the both. And this mask, I find I didn't react badly to it because, you know, some masks I, you know, I will fully break out in a bad way and um, I have to be careful in certain situations but this one I find did not at all um, break me out it didn't cause any reaction and I have semi-sensitive skin like my skin can be sensitive at times depending on um, what I'm using and it will definitely react because I've had it react before um, but with this it did not it just I felt my skin was detoxifying and there was um, a luminosity brought back into my skin. I just found that it was, it was kind of like a nice way of detoxifying your skin without using a clay based mask. A lot of detoxifying masks nowadays are clay based with charcoal. And sometimes you just don't want to use a charcoal clay based mask, you know, like 
I just thought that this was a, a really cool different option. So if you guys are kind of tired of the, you know, every, you know, charcoal clay based mask that does the detoxifying, you want to try something different for detoxifying. Um, this is a great one to try out. I think it is a good price, a decent price that anybody can afford if they're looking for a new mask to try. It comes with a pump, so you, you're not going to make a mess. The only thing that I don't like about the packaging is that it's not a clear, it's not a clear bottle. So I'm not going to know when I run out of this. You know, it's going to be to the point where I'll probably be in the middle of using it and then I'll run out and then I'm like shit out of luck. So that's the only thing I don't like about this is the fact that the bottle doesn't have an indication of how much you're, you're using. Um, so that when you know you're running low, if you, if you truly do really love it, you can go and repurchase it again. So that's the only downfall of the packaging. But aside from that, it's a convenient packaging. You have, you know, it's tiny enough that you can travel with it. Um, it's got a stopper so that nothing will leak out and nothing will dry out in the actual lid. Um, it's got a pump so you can pump it out. You're not making a mess. You're not dipping your finger in. It's very sanitary that way. Um, and the fact that the mask is so affordable but works so well is probably my biggest thing. Sephora, I'm starting to discover on a, another level with skincare. The brand Sephora, not just like Sephora the store, because obviously they have a lot of high-end stuff in there, but like as a brand, I think it's great. So yeah, I want to hear your opinions. If you guys have tried this, what do you think? I know that not everybody has the same opinion, but for me and my experience out of trying this, I think it's a great affordable option. And if you're on a budget, definitely, you know, worth a try if you're looking into trying, you know, the whole phase of a bubble mask. Um, the big question is, would I repurchase this again? And yes, in honesty, I would repurchase this again. Um, I think it's a great way to detoxify that's not a clay-based version mask because sometimes people just don't like clay masks. And this is not a clay mask by any means. It's a gel formula, so you know you're not gonna clog your sinks or anything like that. I know that clay based ma clay based mask can clog your sinks. Um, trust me, I've had it happen to me. It is not pretty, and let me tell you, the repercussions of that is awful. Um, but I you know I do I really do think this is a thumbs up in my book. So if you guys have tried it, let me know. If not, or you're gonna you're going to try it. Let me know how it goes for you. I really liked it. Um, one disclaimer, if you guys are really, really sensitive to any skincare, just what I suggest you do is test a patch out on the inner wrist of your hand here to make sure that your skin doesn't react to it badly. And then if that goes well, then you can proceed with your face. But, um, you know, Normally when I recommend skincare, I always make sure to let you guys know to test on your inside of your wrist just to make sure that there is no allergic reaction because you never know. Everybody's different. So thanks everyone for watching. Let me know what you think of this down below or if you have any questions and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye everyone. Mwah.